go. Oh, that's cool. What about this one? No, I don't know. Good up, morning guys, welcome to today's video. We are in Gabby's car and we got the girl squad. We got Gabby, we got Sophie. Wait, let's start that again. We could do that better. We got sweatshirt girl, we got sunburn girl, and we got, who are you? Are you braid girl or sleeps in trailer girl? I don't know. All right, we haven't decided who Brooklyn is yet. But anyway, we're headed out. We're just going down the street to pick up something. I'm gonna show you guys but we're taking Gabby's car. And how do we start this sucker? So we have to close the door. Put your foot on the brake. Put my foot on the brake. Press start. Press start. Fancy, it's so fancy. Okay, Gabby, you should play around with this. It actually has you connect. Look it, you connect. I see it, I see it. Anyway, I'm pretty sure she can put her phone in there and get phone calls in there. And you, anyway, she can do that. Let's go down the road. I'm gonna show you guys what we're picking up. It's something super cool. The lady that sold us Storm wanted us to have this. She's moving and she wanted us to have this jacket. It says he's a Mito Peppy Doc and it's a sweater. And it has Storm's name on the side, his first name, which was Sully. So she's moving and she wanted us to have that. And she has pictures of Storm as a baby. And she wanted us to have that too. She's kind of big. You can see the attitude. <laughs> He's such a cute boy. I can imagine Baby Storm being so That one's the cutest sassy. one. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine Baby Storm being sassy because he looks so innocent. He looks so happy. Anyway. He looks mischievous. I don't know what you're talking about. He does look mischievous. I. It was so nice to like talk to his old owner. I used to be able to see her regularly. And oh, now. I guess that's him and his mom then. Yeah. And now. Oh yeah. That's him and his mom. And. Um, yeah, that's a nice one to have. He looks just like his mom. Does he? Mm -hmm. mm. His mom has like the back. Just kind of light his little legs. legs are, yeah. That is so cool. He does look like his mom, you're right. Anyway, so she gave us that stuff and do you have the other thing? So she also gave us this metal plate and it says he's a mighty, he's a Mito Peppy Doc. And it's like been used. And I'm gonna like, I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna make it into like a, a, what do you call it? I'm gonna make it into like a keychain. And then I'm gonna put, maybe engrave the name Storm on the back. And I'm gonna give it to the one little girl that rides him because she is obsessed with him and loves him and he loves her. And I think it would be nice for her to have something of him. Unless Gabby wants to keep it. She already has one on her own halter. All right, let's go. We're going home for a trail ride before the grandkids have to leave. What did you and Nono do when I was gone? We um, went on a tractor. You went on a tractor ride without us? Yeah. What the heck? The grandkids are here. You know the grandkids are here. When the trailer makes an entrance, I mean. All right, I gotta get on the other side. You guys get on the other side. All right, yeah, I got one. Just wait for it. No, I wanted to make this into a snake. You wanted to make that into a snake? Yeah. Don't worry, Gabby. Don't worry. I got an idea. We are headed on a tractor ride. Mm -hmm. oh, we got the girls over there and the and the grandkids mm -hmm. here. Um, my foot's under you. Your foot's underneath my butt? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Last night we had a big fire. Oh. We roasted hot dogs and marshmallows, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We didn't video it. How old are you now, Brooklyn? Nine. Nine. Soon Brooklyn will be too big for Nana's house. Too big for horseback riding? Too no. big? No, never too big for horseback riding? No. That's my girl. That was a trick question. Me too. I'm yeah, happy. you met horseback riding boy. Is Brooklyn turning 10 this year? Yeah, she's turning 10. All right, look at Penny wants to come in. Look at the horses. And I'm turning 7. Look, this is like a zoo trip. To the right, we have the big chubby pony, and we have the little chubby pony. <laughs> and then we got the dog. And to the left, we have the white shaggy dog, and then we have the brown and white crazy dog. And then the Dalmatian dog is in the house. And then to the right again, we have the scaredy chickens. Huh? The scaredy girls. We have the two cool for school kids. You think he'll ever be too cool for school? 
You be too school for cool? You be too school for too school for cool? Yeah. What are you gonna be when you grow up, Brooklyn? A doctor. She's gonna be a doctor and she's been wanting to do this her whole life. And she's been studying already for, to be a doctor. She's planning out her education already. She's clearly not my grandchild. <laughs> That's not true. I knew what I wanted to be for a long time and I worked really hard to be it. I went to school and I was in the medical field and she's going to be in the medical field and nobody else in our family is in the medical field so maybe she does take after Nana. You think so? What are you going to be, Jacob? Me? Yeah. She doesn't know. <laughs> That's okay. Not everybody knows early. He wants to be an army man, he wants to be a chef, he wants to be um, an army man, a chef. He wants to be a firefighter. Firefighter, one of them. He'll pick one one day. Yeah. Maybe he'll be a YouTuber. Your tongue is blue. Yeah, where'd you get the blue tongue? You had, I, Nana gave you bacon and toast and cereal. How'd you get a blue tongue? I just got blue. Oh, juice, boxes. juice boxes. Look, I Molly's think, down there. Oh, I missed it. I think it's three of them. Three, oh my goodness. Molly was down there waiting for us. She ran so far ahead, she has her pine cone, or her cone, and then she just waits for us. Sometimes we donate a couple of eggs to the chickens. We do this thing where we just drop the egg on the ground and it's flat open and then all the chickens come running. And Sophie loves to do it. She's the one that taught me. She saw it on TikTok. Crack the egg, flat egg. Remember, don't move around too fast. The one chicken thought there. So we dropped four eggs today, just just to be nice, and let them have a special treat. So uh, the grandkids and I want to prank Gabby, right? Mm -hmm. They're pranksters. I don't know where they get it from. Where do you get that from? Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're gonna do a little prank on Gabby. You gotta change your line. You gotta change my line. I already knew it was gonna be a prank. You act like I'm a little child. Like, I act like she's a little child. Yeah. Yeah. Like can't prank a Gabby. To children. Can't prank a Gabby. I'm excited that I get to spend so much time with my grandkids, like a whole weekend every month. It makes me happy. But man, there's no resting. There's no like time between things. You just go, go, go. And I love that. That's who I am inside. But. I definitely like to clean my house after they leave. Because things like this <laughs> just randomly happen. And there's another one. <sighs> That's got to be Jacob's. It's half full. Who threw their drinks on the ground? <laughs> two, two of them? There's two of them. Jacob had four. Tractor ride. Oh, so it was Jacob several times? All right. One of them might have been mine. It's a, was it at the house? Yeah. No. <laughs> Way to trick me. No. Yeah, you can have a carrot. I'm going to give you carrot. That's a huge carrot. Listen, bad news about the prank. I she already, already knew. I already know. How do you know? Because Dick was like, we're going to prank Gabby. But what are we going to do? Yeah, she says that I have a bad prank face but let's uh and also i wanted to do that on someone else oh like jacob what are we doing? and also it's very obvious you put the camera where she could see it and the cup was upside down <laughs> blah 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 you guys are all too smart for me now all right let's go see if we can make the courses run to us do you think we can whose corn pops box is jacob, that jacob let me sh let nana show you where the garbage is sir thought i lost the mints but they're right here saved oh, these right rescued now. them from Sophie's weekend with her friend. Uh oh, right here. See that bag right there? That's where the garbage goes. Thank you very much. And then the rest, I'm giving to my horse. The rest are giving to your the, horse. Were those the ones that were on the ground? So, yeah. What happened to them? We put them in our mouths and spit, them, them, and spit them out at everyone. Why would you so do that? Because. <laughs> Interesting. This is what 12 year old and 13 year olds do when they sleep over together. They put candy in their mouth and I'm blaming Jacob for not finding the garbage. Okay. Let's see. That's not going to work. Might work. Alright, so two things before we go and try and make the horses run to us. One, for any new viewers, who is 
your horse. People are like, wait a minute, you don't have a horse. Who's your horse? Gracie. Gracie, who's your horse? The big one. Penny? <coughs> oh, <Yeah>. wow. <laughs> I thought he was going to say Gracie because that would be the right answer. <laughs> Everybody wants to steal my horse. All right, so the second thing is, this. let's see if the horses come galloping. Just wait, Jacob. Yeah. Do you think the, are you bringing the carrots with you? We can't do it. Why? They're there? Uh -huh. Oh. They won't run anyway. Do you think the horses will run? run? Jacob. We'll go down to the end there and we'll see if we can get them running. Okay. Who thinks that the kid, that the horses will run? Mommy. I, don't. I do. Remind me later, guys, to go looking for a bag of carrots in case it gets dropped on the property. Look, it's already starting. <laughs> Gracie's like, I see you there. Let's run. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Things are happening. I don't know if it's the bag of carrots Jacob's got or if it's the grain bucket Sophie's got. The grain. <laughs> it's already run, happening. Sophia, run. So, Gabby, we're going to have to get another grain bucket. Because now they're all gone down there and we need them to come back. <laughs> there she goes. It's galloping time. Trot at the most. Trot at the most, Gabby says. Shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Side to side. Oh, they hear it. It's mints. Mints are better than grain. Come on. Come on. She's spicy. Come on! <laughs> she goes to the carrots. Um, hold on, he says. <laughs> no. Watch your fingers. <laughs> Was it so? Maybe. Nope, she got it. Look at the flies are out now. You know when it's July, the middle or the end of July, our flies show up. The problem when we're doing three horses at a time is that I only have enough. Where's the detangler? How do I braid it? Ah, the detangler. Braid it, just like a regular braid. No, I'm going to use the, the main brush. Did you brush it first? You want to brush it? Well, she likes to have her hair brushed. I'm using the main brush, Mom. Look, she's I'm got. It. I can do loose braids. I can't do tight braids. Oh, she loves loose braids. You know all the rules about horses? Yeah. Do you have another main brush in there? Because the feet took mine. I know. That's what's frustrating. Here, 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 you can use that brush. So, at the end of this week coming up is show week again. Another show week. And it's Gabby's show. She's uh, one more show after this. She's got two shows left, I think, altogether. Really gentle. Why do you think she's shaking like that, shivering? Why? Why? Why do you think? Am she scared? No, I don't think she's scared. She likes me? Yeah. Why do you think she's doing that? Because she likes the boys. No, I think it's because she's, every time something lands on her, she thinks it's a fly. And if she shivers like that and shakes her body, the fly flies away. So she just gets so used to doing that. So she thinks this is a fly flies away when she shakes it? Really yeah, see? Every time you gently put it on her, she doesn't know if it's yeah. going to be a fly or if it's going to be a brush. So she might like it better if you go like this, gently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it. You got it. We're waiting for the main brush. Penny's favorite thing is getting her hair brushed. Gracie likes it too, actually. Help, help, help. <laughs> help, help, help. Just, you know what I do when she does that? She tries to push me to the side. I do this and I push her back. Gentle, I push her back. Over, over, over. Yeah, and I use that and I pull her forward. Get up there, Gracie. You can listen to me. There we go. You can listen. You get the power to make her move when she moves. And if she comes in your space, you tell her, no, no, you have to move over. Don't eat my hair. Did you try to eat your hair? Does your hair look like straw? Like hay? I don't know. Kind of. Brooklyn has her hair dyed at the bottom. She won't bite you. It was very blue at first. Yeah, it was blue at first. And now the bleach is coming. Yeah, it's kind of green. But horses are way less scary if you set rules and don't let her do whatever she wants. 
Yeah, good. And I say words too because horses actually know how to understand words. I say, get over there, Gracie. Yeah, her hair is looking cute. <laughs> and Gabby's over here grooming her dog. <laughs> Are you done with the with the main brush? Because I would like to have a turn. Sophie's still wearing pajama bottoms because she got sunburned. Poor baby. Oh, poor baby. It hurts. This is why I like wearing shorts and a t-shirt. So if I do get sunburned, you can still wear her shorts and t-shirts yeah. after. Okay. Look at how calm my girl is. She used to have a little kid, and that's her thing. Like, she loves her a little kid. And Jacob has kind of adopted her. Have you adopted her, Jacob? Yeah. Don't, don't touch her eyes. Can I get my helmet on? Yep, go get your helmet on. You guys gotta get boots. You gotta get boots. Not know what helmet will fit you. This is the toddler helmet. Nope. This is a medium. Perfect. Sophie has boots that are paddock boots. She has two pairs and she just doesn't like them. See if those ones fit you and then if they don't, we'll give you these ones. I love it. It's gorgeous. Penny, what do you think? I love it. She's like, wow, Gabby's really useful. <laughs> do you like it? It's so nice. Do you like it? What? Uh, Jacob, fix your shirt there, dude. All right, so this is Gracie's braid done by Brooklyn. Also stunning and beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let's get tacked up. I love it. Thank you, Gabby. Oh. I really know how to do that kind of braid. And Willow's braid. Willow's braid. She got lots of braids. Super cute. All right, let's get going. Let's tack up. The one thing I always use with Penny are when the grandkids ride are these little things. I love having them. We're all hot and tired already. I think Brooklyn is like shook about how much time it takes to <laughs> takes to get tacked up and ready. Every time Penny tries to drop her head to eat grass, Sophie just <laughs> then she's like, oh shoot, she listens to Sophie good. Little, there you go. All right, and we're off. Your pony behaving, Brooklyn? Yeah, we're just letting her eat the grass. Oh, I don't know if that's a good choice. All right. Let's go. Hold on tight, Jacob. Our little pony circus, you guys. feet raindrops falling on the street i can't recall when i last saw the sun summer's just a memory a faded piece of history no one can remember all the fun the late night barbecue zipping on a genie juice better than a trail ride at Nana's house. That's a lie. Nothing better than riding your own horse at your own home at your own house. I work hard every day. Don't waste my time on yesterday. I never shy away from a good time. Coming on Friday night. I see my friends and feel all right. There ain't no stopping us from having fun. Keep your bum in the saddle. Running up a hill is the best fun because your horse never really goes that fast. Hold on tight, hold on. There ain't no cloud hold on tight. <laughs> Her son really hurts when she runs.
So the big trouble with letting the grandkids ride is that they never want to stop. So if Gabby's gone again with Brooklyn. She's taking her around again, gone that way. Um, I'm gonna take Jacob off because it's really hot today. It's like a heat advisory. It's not yet, it's early still, but it's gonna get there and I don't want them to get hot. They're not really doing much. They're just like going for a walk. They could walk around the field if they wanted. All right, you ready? That's how Gabby gets off. Hold on. Hey, come back. I need you to take off your... She's looking for the ponies. She's like, Gracie, I'm back. Where are you? Where is she? So we've always been told to take braids out. Always. I don't know if it's like English braids or whatever. And then I hear other people saying like, braid your horse. It keeps them cool. But you're not ever supposed to keep braids in because especially if they're tight, it can like give them headaches and make them feel, well, you know what it's like. So I never know. I think like one is English and one is Western and I don't know what one is right. She washed the horses down. Penny doesn't like cold water. She's not the girl after my own heart. That's for sure. And we're going up to get a drink because it's hot. The horses are having a drink now. And we're going to go take the kids home. We always end our trip with Nana and no no with mcdonald's it's a bribe to make it easier for them to go home so we stop and we eat mcdonald's on the way home and that my friends is what we are about to do bye bye, bye. bye. don't you know that you're beautiful